Hi friends, in this tutorial using Spring Boot uh, security configuration, we will be creating a custom login page for our application. For this I am going to take reference of my website javanews.com. So go to Spring, Spring Security. The example that we are going to see today will be Spring Boot security custom login page example. I will be sharing this uh, URL along with the YouTube video. In a previous post we have, we have implemented Spring Boot security for a form application. So in the previous post we made use of the default login page provided by Spring Boot. You can go through this example. This example uh, source code will be the starting point for uh, the uh, custom login page that we are going to develop. You can uh, download the source code from here. It is a Maven project. So import the source code that we just downloaded in Eclipse. and Let us start the application that we created previously and uh, see what we had done. The application has started successfully. Next go to the URL localhost colon 8080 slash welcome. So this is the default login page uh, provided by Spring Boot. Uh, we are going to create our own login page uh, in this example. Let us first have a look at the source code of this default login page uh, provided by Spring Boot. Since we are going to develop a login page which, which is similar in design so this is the login page that is provided by Spring Boot uh, here we are having two elements one is of input type text and the other is of input type password we have a submit button and we are doing a post request and uh, the URL is slash login so we are going to create a similar page but with our own CSS which will be the login page uh, that we want so let's create the custom login page and it will be having similar field names as username and password so go to the spring boot security example and this is the JSP page that uh, we are going to develop. as mentioned previously it will be having the fields as uh, username and password uh, also it will be a post method and here we have the uh, URL as slash login we have it as context slash login because uh, we will get the context path from the request URL. Uh, the context path is the implicit uh, object uh, provided to JSP. So we'll be making use of that to get the uh, complete URL. We'll be displaying some messages which we'll be passing to this JSP page. We'll see this later on. Also, we have added quite a bit of CSS uh, to this uh, login JSP. So let's create this uh, JSP page. Go to source, main, web app, web INF, JSP and we'll be creating a new JSP page. Name this as login.jsp. Copy the content. Next in the controller we add a get method which returns the custom login page with the request mapping of slash login so in a current controller we'll be adding this method so this uh, takes care of both the login page as well as the logout page once we click on the logout page again the login page itself is returned so what we are doing here is that we are checking if uh, it is a logout then uh, we are going to display this message that you have been successfully logout if uh, there is some error then we are going to display the error message so we are going to pass this message uh, to the login.jsp page that we just created. So copy this and go to the controller. Finally, we'll be modifying the Spring Security configuration where we specify the custom login page to be called during login. So we'll be specifying this. Uh, a URL mapping uh, in the Spring Boot configuration. So previously we had given just form login. Uh, after that in the filter chain we will be adding the login page uh, with the requ uh, request URL. So go to the employee security configuration.java and here after form login just add this. 
so these are the only changes required next start the spring boot application the application it has started successfully so let's test if our application is working properly go to localhost lan slash welcome so here we can see that we can we, we are able to see the custom login page uh, enter some wrong username password it is displaying the error message username and password are invalid now login successfully using the correct username and password and do a logout so here it is showing the message you have been logged out successfully so our application is working as expected uh, the source code for this it can be downloaded from here hope you have understood this tutorial thank you